How you going? I'm Dan, and um, we're from Boron, Australia. And um, yeah, we're just going to do a bit of a rundown on our dogs today. Yeah, just explain the breeds, and yeah, we always get a lot of questions about what sort of style of dog they are, and yeah, and their breed history. So yeah, give us a quick rundown. Yeah, this is our main dog, Carl. His full name is actually Carlos Hathcock, after the American sniper fella. He's five years old this year, and yeah, good nose and good lugger and that, but his main thing he's good at is running on. Like, he'll get, get you a couple of pigs out of the mobs out in that flat country real easy. Yeah, yeah he's sort of taken over as the main dog because his dad died oh, a few weeks ago. His name was Ringo and he was a real good dog. He was one of the best dogs we've ever had. He's a very consistent old fella. Yeah, Carl would be about 38 kilos, I think. And yeah, this is a breed I've had since I was um, very, since I was a young fellow, I had, he, I had his great grandfather. His name was Clyde. He's, he was a stag, mastiff, bull Arab, and his great grandfather. But then we're pretty much all the dogs that have been put over are Brian Neal bull Arabs. And what a bull Arab is is a bull terrier, German short hair pointer, and greyhound cross. And that's what predominantly these dogs are now. You can see he's, he's got a bit of weight on him, but yeah. We haven't been picking much at the moment because of the wet. But yeah, once the season starts, he's very fit. Fit dog, doesn't get tired and that, so, yeah. This is Rocco. He's a Wolfhound Cross Bull Arab. Uh, we got him off our mate, We're just out of town, and he had a really handy Wolfhound. Um, got over a Bull Arab bitch, and yeah, Rocco. He's five years old. One of the best dogs to have in the yard. He acts like an old man. He's got a good nose on him, he runs on well and he's a pleasure to have in the yard and a handy member of the team. He's good with catching balls when out, sometimes he'll even bail and uh, yeah, but he's definitely his strongest attributes are his nose and his running on ability and just his pleasure to have around in the yard. You'd, you'd have 10 of him any day. But yeah, he's a good dog. Hey. Rightio, so this is our youngest dog, Keith. He from Brendan Minns Bull Arabs. He's down at Tenerfield on the border there, between Queensland and New South Wales. We got Keithy, I think, in August last year, and he's been an exceptional dog for us. So, eh? like, yeah, yeah, he's a perfect style for up here. Like, he's lean and fast. Very hard dog too. He's starting to find and run on. I think he's, he's got a lot of potential. I think he'll be a really good dog. Um, Keith is like a proper. Legit, you could say Bull Arab, he, the Bull Terrier again, German short end pointer, cross greyhound. And um, Brendan Minns has been breeding him for 13 years, and I think, yeah, he's got a really good line of dogs happening. So if anyone's interested, hit him up. Yeah. He's Gruber, he's a, well, actually, his name's Hans Gruber, like the bad guy off um, Die Hard. But yeah, he's a Gruber hound from Longreach. Some people have been breeding his style and line of dog for uh, quite a long time and yeah he's he's a very hard young dog and yeah just he's not the best finder but it's only sort of time thing wolfhounds are generally a bit slower his main breeding is um wolfhound bull terrier yeah like i said he's three years old yeah incredibly hard dog good stamina like very well very well behaved too yeah, I've never really had to discipline though. He's been a yeah, good, good boy his whole lot, so. Uh, well, the main goal with this dog is to get him running on properly like Carl and Rocco. Like, I don't really do that to the, to the cooler months, you know, because it's too risky with all this heat and humidity around here. It's one way to cook a dog. So yeah, once it cools down, I'll be really pushing in the videos, running on and how many you can get out of a mob. It's sort of, yeah, a bit cooler months sort of thing, but. Yeah, very keen. Also, if you like and subscribe, next week we'll be doing a rundown of our gear. Like, uh, our two utes we've got set up, and we've also got a quarter and trailer set up, and our buggy and trailer set up. Just basically all the gear we use for pigging and yeah, just our lifestyle. Yeah, so stay tuned for that one next week.